gosh, it feels like summer again. So here we are, Hi. Tina and I. <laughs> Hi. We're at um, Santa Eulalia Beach, uh, which is the next beach along from where we were before. We're going to try and back on ourselves and then over to there. That big long stretch is um, fallacia. Exciting. It's quite warm this morning, isn't yeah. it? It's lovely. Yay. Yes. Let's do it. Wake us up. Yeah. <laughs> All right. We're in prayer at Santa Eulalia today just next to Bicos where we ended up last time. Bicos means beaks or points uh, referring to the sharp jagged fork rock formations along the coastal area which resemble pointed beaks or spikes. And uh, it felt a little bit warmer this morning getting in. Tina fell down a little pothole there. <laughs> But beautiful start. As you can see here, we had to walk really far out, which is quite common in the new UK. A lot of the UK beaches, you have to do that. But here, you don't get that quite so much. Um, so we were walking probably for about 10 minutes in shallow water. But a gorgeous, gentle start. And looking up there, you are looking towards Santa Maria Luisa, which is where we ended up, and also Valencia Beach, which is where we're going to end up in a couple of weeks' time. Very exciting. So, Eulalia is a name of Greek origin. It means well-spoken or sweetly speaking. From the Greek words, you meaning good, and lalia meaning speech. I actually know of another Santa Eulalia beach in Ibiza. You might know that. Portuguese Santa Eulalia refers to a Christian martyr who is venerated in both Spain and Portugal. So the beach probably takes its name from a chapel or a local devotion to a saint, which is common in Portugal. So lots of rock pools now between Eulalia and, and Marie and Louisa. And they really do make the most beautiful reflections. We've swam past that beach now, Eulalia. And we're now coming up to here. Robbie's over there. There's a wooden platform all along this beach, it looks like. We've got um, in the distance there, which we're going to try and do in one swim, aren't we? Yes. We're going to try and swim for like maybe two, two and a half hours. We'll give it a go. Um, we're having a very gentle swim today. So now swimming down to Santa Maria Luisa, you can see these beautiful reflections in the rock pools. We swam really far out today. We didn't really realise we were so far out because we had to walk far out, but um, we ended up in quite deep waters, but it was lovely, it was very calm. Look at these reflections, so pretty.
there's actually a lot of history in this area. This is still really part of the Albathera municipality. There's lots of ancient traces of Roman settlements here. So it was inhabited centuries ago. And the wildlife here is just stunning. It's so beautiful. I can't stop being amazed by how beautiful these beaches are. Robbie we'll walking along now towards Maria Luisa Beach. So there's a really nice walk along the beach here. You can also walk on the cliff tops, which is stunning. But there is a connection if you want to walk. You can. We had a really lovely walk back all the way. So now we're swimming past Maria Louise Beach and we are finishing up at True Dosh Dosh Agua. Another beach. Strava, you can see how far we got out in the water, um, but we did a good swim there. So the next swim we're going to do is Olashto Agua to Falasia Beach. We're going to end up at Pine Cliffs and have a nice little breakfast there, and then we're going to do three miles the week after on Falasia Beach, which will be the longest swim. And we're going to work our way up because when we swim around the islands, we might even have to do five miles in one day. So stay tuned for that, that will be in about a month's time, around Christmas time. <laughs> 